Hello, my name is John Alpat. Uh, I've been a friend of Nebo Bandovic for over a decade, actually. And uh, I want to, you know, uh, give Nebo some uh, thanks for getting me into real estate. Uh, he had uh, told me back in early 2000s about you know, using, uh, getting into real estate and investing my money and eventually getting uh, the ultimate goal of being finan having financial freedom um, in which my, you know, my income exceeds my, my expenses. And uh, at first I was you know, not really that, uh, I kind of didn't listen to him that carefully, but then after a while he, he showed me a, a good uh, deal on an investment property in, in the Montrose area and I took a chance and I, I went ahead and, and bought it and uh, this is after I had done a uh, investment deal with several other people in which he was a general partner and uh, you know I was skeptical at first but once I kinda learned the ropes and I saw that I that he found a deal that was really incredible and that my nub my my investment grew exponentially um, I started you know doing more invest real estate investments uh, using his advice and, and his help and uh, one thing I realized uh, it's not just about uh, algorithms and X's and O's it's, it really is a, a little bit of about a, a feel of how the market conditions are and you know whether a deal is good and um, you know Neeb always said that you have to have a feel for it and that's one thing that you can study all you want you know, I'm a physician. Uh, I've been a, I'm a, retina, uh, I'm a surgeon, and I've been, you know, been through 14 years of education. But uh, one thing I noticed that uh, the education doesn't give you is the real world experience and that kind of, that kind of sixth sense or a feel. And I, I noticed that with Nebo, and uh, he has, you know, he, Nebo is actually used to be a, a top level professional soccer player. Uh, he's a leading scorer of the Houston Hotshots, and I asked him, "How did you score those goals? How, how did you know?" He said, "I had. A, you have to have a feel for it." And I think he used that same instincts and, and par parlayed that instinct that he has uh, for scoring goals. He parlayed that into his real estate uh, company and his brokerage and and in, in investing. So sometimes you have to have a experience and a feel for it and I know there are several times when I wanted to close a deal he said just wait just wait they'll come back and he was right you know they came back to the table I was shocked you know and I I was real anxious to close the deals right away but you know he said just wait have patience they'll come back and those kind of those kind of uh, you know feelings are are not really X and O type of things which which I am I'm an X and O you know, one plus one equals two, which is not always the case in business. And that's one thing I want to really congratulate Nebo on in building his real estate empire and really uh, getting me involved in real estate. Now I have several properties. I have uh, four properties and I'm acquiring a, actually a, uh, possibly another one. And, um, and I think in the ne near future, uh, I can achieve this goal of having financial freedom, having my expenses my living expenses, uh, having my income from rental properties exceed, exceed my living expenses. Now, I don't know if that's going to be anytime soon. I just had a new baby, so it could be another, another several years, but uh, it's getting closer to that point. So, um, you know, uh, as long as the Houston market uh, or Miami market or whatever market it is, it continues to appreciate, I think, um, you know, real estate is, is a sound investment. It takes a lot of work and there's a lot of subtleties to it, but I think that uh, it's a great investment. You know, I just got tired of putting money in the stock market and every day someone in, in Greece catches a cold and then the stock market crashes. It just was stressing me out. And uh, I remember during the financial crisis, Nebo, I asked Nebo, oh, did you lose any money? He goes, well, I didn't, I don't have any money in the stock market. And you know he didn't even notice the final cr financial crisis because the Houston market continued to appreciate despite the whole world uh, going into recession. So that kind of opened my eyes as well. As well, and he said, he always said to me, it's always nice to have investments where you can go and see it, you can touch it, you can feel it. And I think there's something to be said by that. So um, 
uh, and I would highly recommend uh, doing business with Nebo Vandevik. Uh, he taught me a lot and he continues to teach me. I, I'm one of his agents. I actually got my real estate license. I'm one of his agents and I'm continuing to learn about this great industry.